Skyline 3802 Delta ready to taxi at Naples Aviation with uh, Whiskey VFR to the northeast. <clears throat> 3802 Delta ground roger. Follow the jet out of Naples Aviation. Cross runway 14, you're going to runway 5. We will follow the jet, cross 14, going to runway 5, 3802 Delta. Wonderful. Oh. You done did that radio call. We done, done did that. Okay. Ooh, you smell that? I do, we'll stay back. <laughs> <laughs> Smells like we're uh, at the tail end of a jet. Ooh. Uh, we need to come back up Alpha to the um, GA. More 10, Roger, hold short of Alpha 5 on Alpha. All right, we're clear to cross. Clear to four. cross. Look right for me. 8247 Kilo Wait. Naples ground. Follow the skyline from your left on Alpha to runway five. I thought it's got iron on the back, so I'll just keto. Oh, what's the direction of flight? After watch that, we went uh, north about here and uh, flight following direct to Venice. 47 Kilo, Roger, I'll have that for you in a minute. Nope, Skylane, you were supposed to follow the Skylane, the airplane from your left, 47 Kilo, you just cut them off. Oh, keep moving now, you're in front of them. <laughs> okay, we move and we. Can <laughs> okay, we're fun. moving. This is a fun one again. Great. We're just one more airplane behind now. <laughs> what are they doing? Uh, we're not passing you. We can't pass. We're not passing you. Just keep going, buddy. Okay. And sorry about that. Zero two Delta. No worries. All good. CF three Roger uh, Alpha. This Charlie is gonna be a doozy. Five. I could see one, All two, three, four, five. five. Six planes in front of us, at least. Oh yeah, and most likely six probably land. GF three without delay, cross five Seven. at Charlie. Continue eight. Charlie to mosquito well, control. Without delay, cross in five on Charlie to mosquito control. GF three. Well, y'all, hopefully we finish this video and our batteries last till landing. If not, hope you enjoy this takeoff. <laughs> wow. Ground one ninety three clearing at Alpha five for Nacho. Speed 193, Roger, hold short of Alpha. Short of Alpha, this one. I'm gonna do a quick run up while we're back here. I have a feeling we have some time. I think so. No one behind us right no. now. No! Alright, close up for a minute, please. Alpha 1, Skyline 3, 2, Delta. 1200 and do a proper ground lean real quick. We should be about at it, actually. And now, uh, Tower 302 Delta, hold short runway 5. 302 Delta, proceed on course, runway 5, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, runway 5, 302 Delta. Uh, we are at three miles uh, east of the uh, full stop. 519 and Echo, Naples Tower, Roger, report the midfield right down on runway 5, traffic passing off the left wing southbound for two miles, uh, 1,500. Alright, in the green. Uh, got, uh, right 
Goodbye, Naples. Woo. All right, flaps. Three eight zero two Delta. Are you pretty much just a straight out departure? Hey, firm. Roger. Nine nine zero Bravo Sierra, the preceding sky lane is straight out. You can make a left turn on course, runway five, quick for takeoff. Bravo Sierra, Roger, left turn on course, quick for takeoff. Five one nine eight Echo, extend downwind. I will call your base turn. Extend downwind. Uh, we'll call you uh, uh, nine eight Echo. For a bunch of retired controllers, they work way too hard. This is a busy, busy place. Yeah. What are you looking for? Birds. Right now? Yeah, I saw some underneath us. Oh. Bone climbing. So many golf courses. Everything is looking good. Flaps are out. I'm gonna oh, keep my lights on. Seven two six zero. Tell proceed on course. Only five. Clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff. Five on course. Seven two six zero. Hotel. Five one nine eight echo. Runway five. Clear to land. Shallow out my climb just a little bit because my CHTs are getting hot. Okay. And that where I stayed at altitude, I'm gonna pull back my manifold just a tad just to keep things cool. We're at 1,500 feet. I'm still climbing really well, so. My CHTs are up at 394. Yeah. I don't like them to get above 400. So that's what I'm looking at right here, 394. Okay. But now I'm just like pitching over just a little bit, pulling back manifold a little bit. Now we're at a safe altitude and we don't need all that performance. And now look, they're already trending down. Nice. Sierra Zero, Bravo Sierra, cruise call traffic will be off the uh, about one to two o'clock, two miles northeast bound, climbing out of uh, 1,800. Zero, Bravo Sierra, thank you, sir. Right now we're already in the 380s, 389, still trending down, so that's good. We'll keep this climb going. Yeah, now now the 384, we've already lost 10 degrees off of our CHTs, so they're already cooling. And we're still climbing 600 feet per minute. What are you looking for? Traffic. All right, same altitude, upper left wing. Okay, well you gotta tell me. Okay. I can help you look. That's true. <laughs> but that's what I'm here for. No, we both look four eyes better than two. Are we actually gonna get a tailwind? Holy crap. I don't know. Say it isn't so. Say it ain't so, I will not go. Zero Bravo, Sierra, previous call traffic, no Now we're down to 376. So we've lost almost 20 degrees by those little adjustments. Still climbing great. Yep. We're still climbing at 600 hey, feet per minute. Two, three, but it's worth Sierra, it to cool off the CHTs. Keep old mojo happy. Sierra, Tower, Roger, follow the highway westbound for the right downwind runway. Yeah, because this plane doesn't have cow flaps. That's the issue. So it holds in all that hot air instead of dropping it out of cow flaps. So you gotta be really careful with our plane about over temping it. Runway five at Delta One, clear for takeoff. Runway five at Delta One. I never knew how important cow flaps were until I flew this plane without it. Heading altitude, check and autopilot. That way I can get all, can you get the wind off your butt? Hear myself think. No, this. I'm hot. Hey, X-ray. Just for a future reference, uh, full length is always uh, preferred. That way, I don't have to hold you for wake turbulence. Oh. Probably sorry about that. No worries. Uh, it'll be nine uh, right or left. Nine, nine right. Sorry about that. Put in Fort Myers approach frequency because there's a lot of traffic on the. American right, 2131. Right reduce speed to 210. So did you, ten American 21. Gosh, 31. yeah. Lots, lots of airplanes around. So I like to, we do see ADS-B now. So when I'm working, I see a target like that, I'll just blanket call Reverse out traffic. Mike, with you traffic over two o'clock, three oh. You're listening, you're listening. Nine or thousand, seven thirty-two. Interesting. Oh. Uh, uh, plan aside, uh, no So you'll make call, traffic calls to people that are not even talking to you. Just yeah. to see if they happen to be up. 
Usually it's somebody I'm talking to and you're the traffic for them. And if I click my Over little ADS button, off, or, uh, you can proceed I'll to Naples, say it as well to that aircraft too. Interesting. Center, we didn't have that Romeo Alpha, proceed direct Naples. So, what has been the biggest difference transferring from being like a center controller to an approach controller? Is like one harder than the other for you, or are they just different? There's still ATC, it's still the same thing, but the biggest difference is the equipment at the center. And mind you, we we're still using old antiquated equipment at the center. But we had all this extra stuff, like the computer we use to put flight plans in and amendments and altitude stuff is all right on the same dash at the center. At the Tracon, there's a whole other body that has to do that. So you're flying. We're, we want to go to 6,000 and we're only 5 to 4. At the center, it's one keystroke for the person you're talking to. At the Tracon, I got to call down to a person working the data position and tell them, hey, amend 02 Delta to 6000. That way it puts it into the NAS. Wow. It's crazy how inefficient. inefficient it is. I mean, the equipment is not great. But the difference, like at the center at Atlanta, enormous amount of volume. That's all we're doing. And we're doing high altitude stuff professional pilots, you know, so the job there is easier because at the Tracon, it's a lot more GA stuff and it's all sequencing for approaches into airports. So with four airplanes at Orlando, I could be overwhelmed and busy, whereas with 20 airplanes in Atlanta, I'm not as busy because you're not saying as much, you're not doing as much. Okay. But the equipment, I think, adds to that busyness because you need to do all this extra stuff. And the keyboard we use, too. We have a, a keyboard that we have to type things into. It's A, B, C, D, E, F, G. It's not a accordion keyboard. What? Like, who makes that? That's annoying. So, for me, doing this job for a good amount of time, like, it is, it's a serious, like, shift in how my brain works. Like, for instance, we use paper strips at the Tracon. I never even touched a paper strip in my entire career. It's mind-blowing <laughs> that that's a thing. So, you coming over, I look at the jet. I'm looking. I still get it, like a little kid when I see the jets in the plane. But, like, you're coming over on flight following in the Tracon, and you're flying through the airspace, all I see is your tail number, I see what type of plane you are, and your altitude and speed. I don't know where you're going. The only way I know where you're going is if I have that paper strip, and that person working the data position has to bring it to me. And they get busy because they're doing a lot of things, so sometimes they don't bring it, which is why you guys might hear, what's your destination? What's your destination? Where are you going? And Believe me, I don't like saying it, but I'm getting more used to asking, where are you going, where are you going? Because in the center, you saw all that information at all times. Yeah. And the flight plan, you could see it right in front of you. We had a little monitor. Sounds inconvenient. Very inconvenient. I'm going to try to start a 4-9 across with one side, Falcon. Fokka, traffic, Skyline 3802, Delta 10 miles to the southwest in Bowman, way 15. Fokka, traffic, white, red, archer, uh, 10 miles northeast of view, inbound for runway 15. Fokka, traffic. 10 miles northeast, they're on the other side. Yep. There's at least four in the pattern. Alright, we'll do what we gotta do to fit our way in. Winter Haven, Cherokee 154 Echo Romeo, upwind 11, Winter Haven. Winter Haven, traffic, Cherokee 9163 Juliet, turn final 11, Winter Haven via touch and go. Alrighty, we're back with you guys, headed into Apopka. A couple other people in the pattern that we gotta squirm around, and then we'll be landing.
We just listened to the winds before we turned on. They were 130, 3 to 11. <laughs> 3 to 11. <laughs> we heard 3 and we're like, yeah, gusting 11. We're like, no. It's kind of down the runway there. Yeah. Which is weird. Another stop and go. Yep. All right, there's people over the shoreline we need to be aware of. Orlando Apopka, automated advisory, wind one five zero at five knots with gust to one. I got two. Two five Celsius. Two yeah. point two zero Celsius. Altimeter one, two. three zero zero four. Density altitude one thousand two hundred. You keep him because he's okay. maneuvering. Yep. I got the one on the right. Got it. Good plan, Stan. Plan C traffic crisis and Mike turning final for one zero five. Everybody in Orlando comes to like a pop kind of practice. Terminal traffic, Cessna right. five two two three Quebec circling the airport at sixteen hundred feet, descending to a traffic pattern altitude, gonna join the pattern. Uh, right traffic for one four heaven north. Bob Trap Sky in three zero two depth four miles to the southwest inbound uh, for right downwind runway one five and popka. Yep. Your next call you can call on the forty five. That way people know where to look for us. It looks like they're climbing. Yeah, uh Cherokee nine one six three Juliet. I got the airport. Alright, I've got the traffic. He's not in the pattern. He's just No no, he's down there. Huh? Yeah, I agree. That other guy turned though. All of our lights are on. Traffic, you, traffic, you got him. I got him. We'll see how, how we got to maneuver around him. I don't know where he's going. Apopka traffic, red white archer, 1,505 miles northeast of Seal, inbound for one way one five. Apopka traffic. I don't know. Call joining the right downwind. Papka traffic sky three zero two Delta joining right downwind runway one five Papka. He's going. He's right there, man. I lost uh, him. Got him. No. I got him. Juliet, left downwind runway one one. They're turning at us. Turn right. Go right. Go right. Go right. Five four Echo Romeo final one one full stop. Winter They're going down. They're going. I see them. They're going away from us. They're not coming at us. Oh, well, he turned at us and then circled around. Hey. All right. They're going away. Why are they maneuvering right there? I don't know. At a thousand feet? First notch flaps. Coming on traffic, Cessna 5223, Quebec, turning right base for 14, Hampton North. Bird. Oh, Winter Haven traffic, uh, Cherokee Niner 163 Juliet, left base, wrong way. Alright, car beats in. It'll be a touch two. Mixture's coming in, one not to flaps, lights are on. Pop trap sky, 0302 Delta, turn and right base, 15 Pop I forgot where our call sign was. <laughs> Looking too fast. Oh, Winter Haven traffic, 169 or 163, Juliet. I got the arrow. What's up? I got the arrow. I've got traffic, 764, Charlie, on the right downwind, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, Popka traffic, Skyline zero 02 Delta turning final 15 at Popka. Popka traffic, November 6, 86, Julia Alpha. We're going to be attacking to the runway 15 via Alpha Popka. <clears throat> Busy day here in Orlando.
Topka traffic, Cessna uh, 6770 is four miles uh, west of the field, entering 45 on the downwind for 15. Topka. Topka, jump in 7164 Charlie is on the right base, 15. Topka traffic. We're here. <laughs> we have arrived. I was just about to give it a bump of power to smooth that out. I could feel that wind coming out from under me. I just don't think you can help yourself but land in two feet, so. It's the grass strip. Okay, jumping no, I was trying. Was, that was, it landed just a little before I wanted it to. <laughs> just should beat a bit. <clears throat> That's all right. That was fine. Good job. Yeah, I knew it was gusty, and I could feel it coming out. It was just about to bump power. It didn't respond quick enough. Orlando Apopka, automated advisory, wind one five zero at four knots with gusts to one zero, temperature two four Celsius, two point two zero Celsius, altimeter three zero zero four, density altitude one thousand two hundred. Apopka traffic said one six four Charlie, going around Apopka traffic. This is as fast as I go. Sixty seven seven zero is in the downwind for runway one five. Pop the traps going zero to two Delta clear the active pop good. It sucks there's not a midway taxiway here. They really should have designed it with one. Yeah. Pop good traffic uh, six two seven seven zero is on the base for runway one five. Pop good. Yeah, anytime you come in here and there's someone you're following. You have a lot of space. You gotta make sure like extra space. Pop the traffic lights for seven tango uniform. That's three, three thousand foot runway you landed field. in a hundred feet. Enter, uh, Forty five <laughs> downwind for runway one five Apopka. It's just a long taxi to the end. Yeah. Three quarter was a mile. <laughs> Drive. Well that was eventful. <sighs> busy leaving Naples, busy getting back home. Florida's a busy place, let me I, tell ya. I am happy we have all this stuff. Uh no kidding. That makes it way better. We saw so much traffic on the screens before we even knew about them to even look at the, them outside. There's planes everywhere. I would not want to fly in Florida without some no. sort of traffic service. No. I'm very happy. <laughs> it's so nice to look. Be like, oh, look to your right. There he is. Oh, what but are hey, doing? we got to fly out to Naples. Great trip. You got to fly your airplane home for the first time, and now. We're back to our home, so until next time. That was awesome. Mojo got some love. Hopefully we can do it again Tango soon. Seven Tango uniform is entering a right now went for runway oh, one five Apopka. Don't copy other YouTubers. That's right. We gotta do something. That's to... lame. Chicka chicka bang bang. No. Okay. Top seven one six.